Welcome back, my name is Kuka Cookie, and today we are playing Scrap Mechanic again. And in today's episode, we are taking another look at our fake city. So, as you already can see, I um, placed two of the skyscraper you saw in a previous episode of this uh, fake city, and I placed a bit of um, trees and bushes around it so it looks a bit better um, and as you can see as always these two buildings are not welded together they look welded together but they aren't if you want to know how that works then be sure to click the little eye on the top right corner and I will show you how that works um, yes yeah, so in here in this little gap I tried to hide it a bit with these big trees these cool looking trees are not as big as the um, these ones here um, yeah so let's take let's go onto a tractor and drive to the other part of the city because we have our first um, viewer creation I guess in the scrap mechanic fake city here um, this was made or is made by even Spacon um, he made that, he made a little, you will see what it is uh, exactly in a second, but he added a few bearings every now and then and I'm not sure if I will keep the building, currently it's okay frame wise, but if it will lag too much I guess this building has to go. Um, so here you can already see it, there it is, there we have a really small but cool looking coffee shop. Well, you could call it Starbucks, I guess, maybe, who knows. Let's park our car here, jump out, and I just saw that stuff here. We need to remove that. It's not not cool looking. There we go. Um, by the way, if you want to um, build something for the fake city, be sure to do that. Um, you can use Ike's mod with um, the plants. You can use Ike's block mod. You can use my block mod. And if you want... You could also add um, Lord Payne's interactive mod. Um, yes, yeah, so let's take a look at our coffee shop. Let's take a look at the outside. I added a bit of a lawn around the house and I will link this creation or the workshop link to this creation in the video description down below. Um, yeah, so here we have, that's the backside of the building not too spectacular or spectacular then we have some nice windows with these slight pieces above the window which are tilted a bit um, these are on bearings so that's the sad thing here we have a oldish looking door with these buttons in the middle and in here we have a very detailed um, building that's like the difference between this and the other buildings because you can't go into these buildings. You can see on the sides on these houses or in these apartments you can't go inside. That's just like the outside. Um, but I thought it it's a nice like part of difference or like a small cool different looking building to make the whole street look a bit better. So I thought yeah why not make a detailed house in here or a small one. So in here we have the counter where you can see, oh cool, okay, this costs that and that amount of money. You can see, oh cool, they have um, the the awesome coffee from the Falling Object, uh, Jacks TV show. <laughs> and here we have a mug, so uh, I guess someone already ordered a coffee but he didn't get it or take it. Someone spilled a coffee here and this duck is walking away coffee pond I guess here we have some tables that is a nice way of making uh, seats look at that I guess the, that's the coffee duck or duck coffee who knows and uh, now we have uh, here we have some flowers even more oh that is that would be funny if we could actually uh, make a button and then all the seats go up and down and up and down and up and down and all these guys sitting on the top of these chairs which are going up and down and would get really sick so here we have even more 
things to choose from, I guess. A new, uh, nice wall decoration with some lights. And we have more plants here in the nice sitting area with a cool view outside of the windows. It Well, it kind of seems that there is only one coffee they are selling here. The green one with the duck. Hmm. Well, anyways, here we have a nice electricity box to keep all the stuff safe. And let's go outside and take a look at, um, well, technically what I've done the last episode. This is the multiple, or the, well, the apartment building from our families. Um, this one does have a few layers more than the other one. Now it looks more impressive. You said you want more variations. I will also do a two-layer version of that and upload those and the two-layer version uh, to the workshop. And yes, yeah, so I'm still waiting for Quadissimo to finish his thing. He also wanted to build a cool little shop um, for the fake city, but I'm not sure how far he is or how far he got. Um, yeah, so as I said, if you want to send me them, then be sure to do that. And yeah, don't forget to check out my Discord server there, Mr. Evans Bacon, who made this coffee shop uh, posted his coffee shop and where also um, Poison and Sugar posted his creations from the last Brick Ricks uh, episode. So if you want to check uh, check these creations he posted uh, out as well, then you can do that in the video description or go to my Discord server and check then the... I think it was Cool Creations chat? Yes. Um, Alright, so that's going to be it for that video. Yes, I know these fake city videos are really short. I mean, there's nothing much to show uh, besides the cool street, which is kind of building piece by piece. Um, yeah, maybe the next time I will show you the modern skyscraper, which I built a while ago, and we'll implement that back there. Um, I didn't show it the last few times because welding was a kind of bit weird um, maybe uh, but they fixed that since I've built the skyscraper so yeah maybe you will see that in the next episode maybe we, you will see your creation in the next video and yeah so that's going to be it I think one of my next buildings which I will add to the city will implement my and Ike's modded blocks to add a bit of uh, variation to this city and yeah so thank you for watching, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you want more and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!